Hello again everybody from Mark and myself. Uh, we're doing some good news stories today. Uh, I've got a couple for you that um, were really, really encouraging to me this week. And one was from a lady who at the start of COVID, she asked for a prayer cloth to be uh, taken to her, uh, her residential home where she lives. And I got the news just this week that she phoned, well, she phoned up, she phoned my number and the prayer cloth that she's been using for something actually has been quite serious to her. She had radiation burns on her head um, because of some cancer treatment that she'd actually been exposed to. Those radiation burns are nearly, nearly healed up completely. And she was really thrilled by that. And she wanted to come back to us to say, this is a testimony to the power of the healing grace of Jesus. So we're really thankful for that Thank one. Thank you, Jesus. And another good news story I had this week was from a lady who in fact used to come to South End Christian Fellowship has since moved away. And at one point while she was with us, she had a Sozo appointment and it was a, it was a place of um, quite a deal of breakthrough for her at that time. Since she's moved away, uh, there've been various things that have happened in her life and she has actually not find th found things very, very easy, such that she got to a point because of some um, uh, something that she went through that she started to lose trust in God and actually started not to be able to connect with him or even read her Bible and at one point someone said what you need are safe people and safe circumstances and it triggered something that had been written because Park says is you you write truths down as God speaks to the person he he speaks truth into their lives their minds their hearts and she, she thought to herself, I've heard that somewhere before. Where is that? And she picked out her truths and the clarity of safety, safe people, safe place just jumped out at her. And it was like um, Holy Spirit, just there, there was just that connection again. Holy Spirit turned the light on. And since then, she's been able to read her Bible. She's been able to reconnect with local church and she's been able to get back on track so just really encouraging because God can work anywhere anytime through anything can't he yes he can and we've um, we've heard from some uh, other church leaders as well this week so uh, we've heard of one church leader um, where they um, are wanting to increase the space within their premises built around their work with food bank to create an open environment where all sorts of ways of connecting people can happen um, and um, they've been had this on their plans for a while and they knew that it was going to cost a lot of money to actually transform their existing facility to create this open space for people in and around the work they do with Food Bank. And um, in the last three months, um, uh, as a result of uh, applications that they've made, they've received £160,000 and they're a congregation of 20 adults. How good is that? And the other thing we've heard um, is uh, another church leader we know well in this area uh, is part of a network. And within that network, um, they had been running um, an online healing course. And uh, they had two stories out of uh, a number of stories. One was that um, there was a lady who had quite a serious uh, illness. I'm not quite sure what it was. But as she came on to the online healing course, um, she was completely healed, instantaneously wow. healed. Uh, of her condition as part of the course. And then another lady came onto the course, um, uh, onto the Zoom call, uh, and said, um, I don't know Jesus. How do I get to know Jesus? Can anyone tell me? So there and then on the healing training Zoom video, they led this lady to Jesus. She gave her life to Jesus. And those who have followed her up since have said that uh, her story is my life is completely changed. And one of the ways it has changed is that she takes her dog out for a walk every day in the local park. And every day she goes into the park with her dog on the walk, singing at the top of her voice, the goodness of God and praising God right across the park without any inhibition, without any hesitation. She's just so caught up with how much God has changed her life. And remember, someone else's testimony? Yep. Is your, is your prophecy. prophecy. Absolutely. God bless you. Yeah, trust you're encouraged by some of those stories today. Bye.